Welcome to Let's Rap. I have my beautiful co-host with me again today. I'm so excited. I have Lisa Crutcher Thurman. And I have Ebony Ingram Jones. Hello. And I am Derek Carr, your other host. Um, so, ladies, how you been? Really How's good. We going? all right. We all right. All right. Good yes. to see you all. Good to see you all. <laughs> I have a topic um, today that I want to talk about. And it's kind of in time with what's going on now, even though the groundhog saw a shadow. Uh. <laughs> so we're going to talk about spring cleaning. Uh. And I know a lot of times when people spring clean, I used to hate this time of year. And you know, you know my dad. Oh, wow. We will have to take all the dishes out of the curio cabinet. First of all, who even has that anymore? But we will <laughs> right. have to take oh, all the dishes people. out. Yeah. All the glasses, everything, wash everything, uh, wash baseboard. That was I, right, was, that, I was gonna say honey, baseboard. Honey, you know, what I'm saying? I it was nothing more than that. That. Did you all have to wipe Torch. down the the runners in your you, home? Oh, you absolutely. Uh, we wiped everything. Why do we have runners? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Can you buy some more? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and in the black house, you know, everything has to last. Yeah. <laughs> make it last. Use it out, <laughs> work it out, make it do. I do it out. out. We all do that. <laughs> so today's topic. So talking about spring cleaning, a lot of times when we talk about that. We talk about it in the space of cleaning your home, different mm -hmm. things like that. But why don't we do that for our bodies? Why don't mm -hmm. do it for okay. our minds okay. and our spirits okay. and our souls? So today's topic is spring cleaning, and we're going to deal with basically eight ways to declutter your mind. Mm. So um, the first one is to accept what is. So God grant me the serenity yes. to accept yes. the things I cannot change. The courage to change the things that I can and the wisdom to know the difference mm -hmm. between the two. So decluttering your mind and one thing is just accept what is, is, is what is. Right, right. I mean, <laughs> certain things you just cannot, cannot. you can't well, fix. I resist the urge to try to take it on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ain't yours yes. Anyway. Yeah. yes. And then it's insanity right. to just keep trying to do the same thing and it's not mm -hmm. going to change. So sometimes you got to do something different mm -hmm. to get something different. Um, the next one, be kind to yourself. Mm. Now, a lot of times we don't do that. No. You know, because mm. like with spring cleaning in your mind, your body, you want to renew. And we talk about spring. Spring is newness. Mm. Right. You know, mm. all the, the, the snow, thank yeah. God, has melted and the ice is gone. The, the, the sun is coming out. Mm. The thank birds you, are chirping. Thank you, you start to see the flowers spring forward. Mm -hmm. And uh, so spring is a time of newness mm -hmm. and newness with your body and with yourself. So you tend to want to be in better shape. Yeah. You tend to want to. Uh, look better because yeah. now clothes are going to be a little more revealing, yeah. <laughs> godly but revealing. Oh yes, uh, oh yes. But you know you tend to wear less uh -huh. and it's getting hotter, different things like that. So you want to be kind to yourself because maybe you've picked up a lot of weight or mm -hmm. picked up some weight. COVID. COVID. I mean, come on, you got to be COVID conscious. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing else to do. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, right. But then I, you can't be kind to yourself. <laughs> But not overly, because I cut myself too much back. It's all right. You know, I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I the Lord things. still loves me. He does. All right. And he knows me. He knows my heart. He That's right. our favorite. Right. That's our favorite. He knows our heart. Right. So, um... <laughs> Uh, be kind to yourself in the midst of that. Yes, you know, give yes. yourself some grace. Mm -hmm. You know, um, do what you can do, and then you know, trust God to make up the difference. Uh, release your guilt and fears. Mm. Um, sometimes wow. that's hard to do. It is because you know, guilt and fears can cause anxiety. Oh yes, and uh, you get anxious for nothing. Mm -hmm. But the word says it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be anxious for nothing, but pray about everything. Mm -hmm. Philippians 4, prayer. 6. Yes. yes, and supplication. Yes. Mm -hmm. Make your request and made known to God. Mm -hmm. You know, that is what he tell told him. us to do. Tell so yes. tell him about your trouble. Mm -hmm. He will. He will. Yeah. Um, let go of control. Ah. Now. Let it go. Yeah, but yeah. that ain't really easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? It's still really and, and see, easy. And that's awesome. It isn't because my mom was a very strong-willed woman, and she raised us to be. But after we did the marriage counseling and all that, and the husband, the head of the household, I let it go. Say so anything go to the bad. I was with you. I'm doing what you said. So it ain't on me. That's I'm admirable. That is very admirable. Yes, I can let that's go. That's good. Now, I follow Jesus. But I'm not Jesus. <laughs> and one thing, <laughs> okay. that, one thing that it, that bothers me, I guess sometimes not really bothers me, but when you are in control in just about everything that you do, mm -hmm. I play a leadership role Correct. at work, uh, when we're in church, yes. different things like mm -hmm. that. So I'm so used to yep. controlling, yes. and yes. I'm so used to holding the reins. Mm -hmm. So it is so difficult for me to I let like something that. go. Mm -hmm. 
And yep. it's just like, what is wrong with me? The only thing that has helped me, because I'm like Derek, okay, I've yeah. been a single mother for how long? Yep. Okay. I when I you know when I did work, I was in a class. I was a classroom teacher. So what I said went. You know, oh, yeah. I was in control. Just here at church, okay. I am in leadership yep. with the women's yes. ministry. Okay. So control. Ooh, yeah. Right. I prefer it because mm -hmm. I feel like I. I will answer for my mistakes, yes. but I don't want to answer for your mistakes. And that's okay. what it is. And really? but that's what it when is. you get that's how it is for me. Mm -hmm. But when you get burdened enough, mm -hmm. or when you, when things get you relinquish you control. relinquish it because guess what? If I don't, I'm gonna go crazy. Right. Yeah. So that has benefited me. I catch myself not engaging in as many conversations okay. or proving my point because. I just don't have the time. I, you know, okay, I just okay. don't do it. So I think that is a benefit of me being so busy now. But That's awesome. otherwise, call me Janet Jackson. Control. <laughs> it's control. awesome for yeah. you to explain it that way because right. I know with me, I felt like it's control. And I was like, what is that? And mm -hmm. I said, okay, so it's just my regular, this is what I do. This is what I'm responsible for. This is what I'm what I'm asked to do mm -hmm. every day. This is my life yep. uh, is to be in charge of so many things mm -hmm. and so many people and their outcome and everything. So I feel like if I have it, then I can hold it. Absolutely. And I can make sure wow. it happens. Absolutely. And so, but you, could you hear, see how much stress that is? Oh, on oh, no, I know. See? I, I am envious of you no, that I, you are able to look at your and husband and say, oh, he said, got it. No. Well, no, how does that feel? Happen. No. I'm telling you. And look, but things might not be done exactly the way you would do them. They get done. It's okay. Mm, so that okay. would bother me. No. I know. As my sister. I, I'm all about tying up blue See, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you, my sister cannot even be OCD because that's out of order. Everything must be. Has to be. Mm -hmm. You better. It's all be. right. So we're going to give four to Lisa. That's her, that's her ministry. She lives there. Uh, five, there. visualize what's important to you. Mm. So, I mean, when you got a goal, I think when you get a goal and you set that goal, yeah. then you go towards it. So what I'm learning and I have learned, especially okay. through COVID, is to set goals. Mm -hmm. You know, I had made in my mind that I wanted to go from, and I'll be real vulnerable right now, I want to go from where I was to a 42-inch waist. Mm. Now I'm in the 36, and I was determined to Glory do to that. God. Yes. That was my goal. So my ultimate goal is a 34. Now I don't know who's gonna buy all these new clothes. <laughs> but right. I, we'll God cinch it up on his side. We so if I get there, he's gonna take care of it. <laughs> right, right. So, uh, but yeah, that was my goal. I didn't want to continue to be heavy. I mm -hmm. didn't want you know the other things that came with it. So I set, oh, a, yeah. goal. Correct. I set a goal mm -hmm. with that, and then God afforded me to be able to do Thank that. Thank you, Lord. And I did that by intermittent fasting okay mm. and um uh, so that was awesome so now that i kind of said intermittent fasting uh well i'll go six i'll finish this first and then focus on your life force energy so your spirituality okay you know I what is your life what? force energy what gives you energy what gotcha. what is that force and mine is christ mm -hmm. you yes, know i imagine yes. that is that that still small voice mm -hmm. that you have that pulls you along yes. when you don't want to be pulled. Mm -hmm. All right. And All when right. your spirit is broken, mm -hmm. you just, hey, I've done enough. Yeah. I, I, I'm done. at my wit's end. And then the Holy Spirit just comes in mm -hmm. and just says, uh-uh, yes. no, yeah. you still got work to do. Mm -hmm. Or something comes to re-energize you. So yeah, that, correct. that's what allowing yourself, and I'm, I'm sorry, focus on your life force energy. So focus on Christ. Mm -hmm. Seek Absolutely. ye first the kingdom of God. Correct. And all these things will be added unto mm -hmm. you. All the desires of your heart will be added unto you. So seek him first. And focus on that life force energy. Allow yourself to be vulnerable. Now, this one is about with control. Mm. Um, I am, I always have been, and I'm working through it, but I'm always afraid of failure mm. because I grew up in a home that you really didn't, you wasn't expected to fail. Mm. And you didn't really have permission. You didn't have that permission space to fail. So, and then, it could have just been me. Okay. Mm -hmm. It could have okay. just been self proclaimed because number mm -hmm. one, I am 19 out of 20 kids. Mm. I'm the 19th one. So I felt like I had a lot to prove. Okay. And okay. so it was, I always had to overdo things. Mm -hmm. okay. And so when I got to a place in my life where I felt like I couldn't be vulnerable, mm -hmm. I didn't know how to be vulnerable. Okay. And then I always equated vulnerability with hurt. Oh. Okay. And I always equated vulnerability with weakness. Mm -hmm. And, um, I was always taught not to be either one of those. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
as you grow up, it's so funny how you have to unlearn behaviors oh, in order yes. to live, oh, yes. you know, <laughs> like you could. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we really have to unlearn yeah. bad behaviors that either were inflicted by ourselves, right. our parents, mm -hmm. our, you know, the household, mm -hmm. whatever. But uh, it was always hard for me to be vulnerable. Survival. Yeah, and survival. Survival. I mean, because it was rough. I mm -hmm. mean, everybody got big mouths. Everybody is crazy. You know, everybody, you know, it was rough living mm -hmm. there. You had yes. to either be on it. I was going to be stepped left. on. It was yeah. over. You had, okay. had to come with it. I was going to be hurt and crying all the time. You had to figure out what was going on. And I'm sure it's a lot of homes. Uh -huh. you know, especially oh, with, yeah. you know, black people, we can be a little rough sometimes with one another. Yeah. So, um, Allow yourself to be vulnerable, and I will say that to anybody. Really search inside yourself, and as you're doing the spring cleaning, and you're cleaning yourself up, and you're clearing your mind, and you're focusing on what, what you can do, it's okay to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. But you almost have to be vulnerable with Christ to really tell him what's oh, going yes. on with you. Oh, yes. And that's really a safe mm -hmm. space. Mm -hmm. it really so whether is. you don't the have safest. it with someone else, it is the safest mm -hmm. place in the whole wide world mm -hmm. is to be in the will of God. Yeah. And so when you speak into Christ, and you have to be vulnerable because uncomfortability brings change mm -hmm. and so for you to really be vulnerable and to really display the things that you mm -hmm. need help with yes, yes. you have to be vulnerable God I don't like this about mm -hmm. myself okay I don't like that mm -hmm. to. and it's been plenty of times that I've prayed and then you end up crying yeah. because you are being you, you are being yeah. truthful mm -hmm. and you are being convicted mm -hmm. oh there you go behavior yeah. That you're performing or that whatever's happening at that particular time. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to be vulnerable. And me at 43 years old, I finally learned that it's okay to be vulnerable. Correct. Yes, and even to a sense, it's powerful to be mm -hmm. vulnerable. Absolutely. Because your vulnerability, it gives you some sense of, you know, wow, this person is, he's serious yeah. and he's telling. And then if you really want to help somebody, every time we come on the show and do it, we, yes. we display some type of vulnerability. Mm -hmm. yes. Because we don't know who's going to see this. Correct. We don't know who are. We hope a lot of people see it and mm -hmm. help you share it and give it to whoever <laughs> yeah. we do and tell somebody about our network. Mm -hmm. But, you know, this is vulnerability. Mm -hmm. We don't know who will see Correct. this. We don't Correct. Know who, so we're being vulnerable. And, and I'm glad you said that about um, relationships. Vulnerability allows you to develop relationships. Yes. Yes. You cannot grow in relationships, friendships, I don't care if you are not on some level vulnerable. People be. respond to that. I know I do. I can't enter into a relationship with people who I feel don't trust me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I can't. I refuse. That's true. If you are resistant in that way because you're saying that I can't be trusted. Right. That I take offense to that. Absolutely. So, so be take the take the chance and not saying be vulnerable with everybody. Right. But identify some people who have proven themselves um, trustworthy Absolutely. and practice vulnerability. You you have to practice. You have to practice. Now, it, it it is a practice that you mm -hmm. have to do because I know I had to and it was uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. It was uncomfortable. Anything that you do that you're not used to doing. It brings some level of mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. and you are uncomfortable. And it was so bad that I was like, okay, why am I equating this to weakness? Mm -hmm. You know, what is my what, issue? Yeah. And I'm glad we spend the time on this because a lot of people, especially, I don't know what it is about black people. We have to be, <laughs> right. I guess we've had to be so Oh, I was going to say, I think I know what it is. <laughs> we, we've had to always be so strong. Yeah. We always picked on, picked right. out, last one. You murder. Know, we have to do mm -hmm. murder. You know, <laughs> right. that, we always we always have to be on the defense. Mm -hmm. We always, even at work, wherever we are, right, we have to be right. 110%. It's always defense. It's mm -hmm. this, this, this. So, it, of course, it's uncomfortable mm -hmm. for us but to be even the book that I'm sharing with the couple of the children that I'm tutoring right now, it was a group, they started a running group and the newbies had to have a lunch together and they all, and the coach challenged them to tell something about themselves that was personal. And once they did that, those, they connected. Mm. And you will find too, if something's going on with you, it, the people that are brain injured or have been in a coma, all that kind of stuff, they come to me because you know, you get camaraderie, uh -huh. and you got to speak up. If I had never told anybody, you wouldn't have, they wouldn't mm -hmm. know. They say, "Oh, well, let me check with her," yeah. and then you can open up yourself to, because it's a lot that goes on when you've been brain injured, when you can't remember half mm -hmm. the right. stuff you ever known, and right. learning, acquiring new knowledge is very difficult. So you have somebody that can really 
connect and mm -hmm. feel like they can they are where you are and you can bounce ideas off each other mm -hmm. but you got to open up and absolutely put it out there yep. mm -hmm. put it out and there and that's even relationships like you said with friendships but it's relationships mm -hmm. you know yes. people talk i want love i want this i want my first come along but you won't change anything mm -hmm. and not saying that you have to change for people but you have to take risks mm -hmm. absolutely risk. correct. it's correct you have to take risks risk. mm -hmm. and being vulnerable is key Part to that, that. Mm -hmm. it's key to that i mean that's the only way you can be Take risk is to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. You have to be vulnerable enough to take a risk. Mm -hmm. And you know, whatever the outcome is, you have to be willing to deal with that. Mm -hmm. But you have to at least try. Yeah. You know. So if you never try, you always You'll fail. Never know. <laughs> mm -hmm. You will never exactly. know. That's all I said. So the eighth one is find what doesn't serve or interest you and let it go. Oh. Now you are let the queen of let it go. <laughs> let it yeah, go. Frozen. Let, let, it go. let it go. <laughs> let it go. Um but sometimes that's not always easy to do um, because regardless if it, so it says find what doesn't serve or interest you. Sometimes we don't understand what's not serving mm -hmm. us. And sometimes we are, we have these blinders, mm -hmm. these conscious by, um, blinders that keeps us from seeing what is not serving us. Mm -hmm. But what's not serving us is pretty much if it doesn't nourish your soul, mm -hmm. get rid of it. That's the spring Ouch. cleaning. That's what we're doing. Boom. If it doesn't nourish Ouch. your soul, get rid of it. Hmm. And then you think about it. Just take, a, just take an inventory of your life right now and the things that you do daily on a daily basis and think about it. Something you do. And if it doesn't nourish your soul, get rid of it. How much stuff would you be letting go? Mm -hmm. And it's not really something to answer out loud. It's something to think about in your, your personal time, mm -hmm. your prayer time, Ow. and just to ask God, really, you know, if it's not nourishing me, get rid of it. Mm -hmm. And if I can't do it, give me the strength. You do it. Mm -hmm. Block it. I trust you. <laughs> Block it. Because he you will. Go. He do will. It? I know Every it's time. True. And another way That's to true. really speak to God, and um, I know Lent, you know, is going on different things, uh, but fasting. Mm. Um, I know in my life I pray for a lot of things and I ask God for things and certain things just wasn't happening mm -hmm. and it wasn't being answered I felt so fasting and praying mm -hmm. oh yes is what gets God's attention mm -hmm. because you are abstaining so mm -hmm. Webster says abstaining from all or some kinds of food or drink especially as a religious observer mm -hmm. so in Lent we fast, we, we, we give up something that we do regularly. Mm -hmm. That means a lot to us. So you're sacrificing Absolutely. and showing Christ Making a sacrifice. that, yes. hey, I'm doing this because I want a closer relationship with mm -hmm. you. So the time, so I gave up social media for okay. Lent. And I gave up a lot of things, but that's the main thing. And I feel like every time I pick up my phone and I press Instagram and then I put it down and mm -hmm. I just put it down. And then I either I switch over to the Bible app, mm -hmm. and I was just thinking about how much time am I spending oh my mm -hmm. on social media and oh my Facebook goodness. and just doing other stuff instead of making room for Christ. Absolutely. And that's what Lynn is. You're making room for mm -hmm. Christ. I had given up listening to um, Steve Harvey in the mornings. Mm -hmm. I know on the way to work, and it's like I'm praying for different things, different people, mm -hmm. and even though it's like a half hour drive. I've been getting there so much quicker, it seems like, and not really traffic jammed or mm -hmm. anything. The whole time I'm thanking God for everything, yeah. praising Him, and just really communing with Him, mm -hmm. and still missing Steve Harvey. <laughs> and, you know, another, with fasting, and now that you said it, fasting makes you conscious. Yes, mm -hmm. it does. It makes you conscious of your time. It makes you conscious of what you're doing, what's important to you. Now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I read as I was getting ready for this lesson, it said, when should you fast? And it said, a common question many have when it comes to fasting is, when should you fast? So I won't read it today, but Isaiah 58, if you get mm -hmm. an opportunity to read it, it's pretty long, it's pretty lengthy uh, chapter. It kind of talks about why to fast and when to fast. And God's explained some of the reasons for biblical fasting and others are modeled throughout the Bible as well. Some of these include one. When, when you are seeking direction of the Lord. Mm -hmm. okay. So if you need direction and you can't get it and mm -hmm. it's cloudy, fast. And I guarantee mm -hmm. you, he'll put a stamp. That's the stamp that gets it to him. Now. A little quicker. Okay. And then he'll answer it. So when you're seeking direction, when you haven't received an answer to your prayer, mm -hmm. you can fast. 
for deliverance are breaking the yoke mm -hmm. of bondage. So if it's something that you're doing that you feel like you just don't have the strength to break, mm -hmm. okay. fast and pray. Mm -hmm. um, and then the last one, on behalf of a friend who is under heavy burden to receive insight into their situation or for their deliverance from uh, oppression, mm -hmm. opposition. So those are just four. I'm, there's mm -hmm. many reasons too fast. Correct. But those are just four of them that you can take. And if it's mm -hmm. something that you need from God. I, say the principle, I think the, the <clears throat> principle for me when it comes to fasting is taking the step to remove anything <laughs> that may be in between you yes. and God. Yes. And th those things can be good things, yeah. you know, not necessarily wrong with social media, no. not necessarily wrong with Steve Harvey, but God, I want to maximize mm -hmm. my connection with yes. you. How yes. can I do that? Yes. I got to lay aside every way. You have to. I've okay. got to, okay. I've got to really be intentional about, um, Strengthen, strengthening that connection. So okay. that's what fasting yes. to me means. And it's relational. Like it. mm -hmm. It's relational. You. It's about strengthening your relationship with Christ. Correct. And the reason why our our relationships are not strong is because of distractions. Mm -hmm. And so those things that you love, like Ebony said, they're not always bad. No. Social media is not bad. Mm -mm. Talking to your friends on the phone are not bad. But sometimes he needs to get your attention. Absolutely. And in order for him to do that, you have to be willing to spend time with him. Absolutely. You know, what what, what did we talk here? You spend when you are when you're interested in something, your love, your time, talent, and your, your treasures. treasures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I already paid my type. Mm -hmm. That's a done deal. Yeah. That's not it's no it's not right. yeah. that's done. But my time. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not even in church right now. Right. So what are you doing with all that time? Mm -hmm. You know, we used, if you have been to St. Stephen's Choir, now. This, that's a second job. Mm -hmm. And then Sunday school. Sunday, I mean, it's <laughs> just, it keeps, it, it was so mm -hmm. much. And it was like, I used to complain. And I know we've said it in another show, mm -hmm. I used to complain about the, the time that we spent here. You know, but now... I just wish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, can't I wait. just can't wait. wish. And mm -hmm. I cannot wait for the day that we can get back to that. Correct. And it's going to be so much more appreciative. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I'm going to appreciate it much more now because I haven't had it for almost a year. Mm -hmm. Almost. It'll be a year next month that we haven't been able yeah. to fellowship, that we haven't been able to social, and that as long as li life has not been the mm -hmm. way that it was. So um, I guess more or less fasting eliminates those distractions mm -hmm. and gives you an opportunity to grow closer to God. And then, you know, anything you do for longer than 21 days becomes a habit. Mm -hmm. that's true. So maybe that's what you I won't think. be on social media as much. Okay. You know, hopefully that's what I'm learning through this Correct. experience that I don't need that. I don't need mm -hmm. it. You know, and then, you know, certain types of food, just stuff that I love. I, anybody who <sighs> knows me, you have a good dinner. I want something sweet, some cake, oh, really? something. So I gave up sweets and it's killing me. Mm -hmm. But it's worth it. Thank mm -hmm. you. You know, and every time, and then the, the key to fasting is when you get those cravings for those things that you have given up, then that's the time that you go spend with God. Mm -hmm. That's it. And you ask for strength and you're talking to him and you're strengthening that relationship through that fast. Mm -hmm. uh, it's two things come to my mind right there. When you're spending time with God and you be still, not just you telling him, but allow your spirit to feel what it is he's trying to share with you and he'll sh tell you some secrets. Yep. I secret. I was always so happy because uh, they didn't anybody know me. Telegram, telephone, tell Lisa. Yeah. But some things he wants me to keep under wraps. So Absolutely. I've been praying over all that. Thank you, Lord. I mean, while we were talking about fast, and I got to share this here. When first thing I heard about fast, uh, when he said, I was thinking about this book. It's the 21 day financial fast, mm. and. This really was helpful to me, but we have been tithing over 30 years since I've been here. But uh, Reverend Ken Jobs mm -hmm. was, he did a, on finances, and I was like, oh, because I mean, any little credit card, because if you open yeah. a credit card, they're going to give you this much off, and yeah. then you get this. So I had them all. And that, not what God wants us mm -hmm. to be lenders. Not all <laughs> lenders. So it really helped me to get myself together and then this came along and you just keeping track of it, having a budget so mm -hmm. you know where your money's going and mm -hmm. don't wonder where it went. Where all my money go? You gotta know where it's going mm -hmm. and buying those things you need and once again, you don't need it just because it's the mm -hmm. latest, greatest, newest. Right. No, you gotta use it up, mm -hmm. wear it out, make it do, do, do it, it out. out. 
that's so it. you'll have financial peace. That's <laughs> it. That's true. Okay. And, and another thing with that, and to me, with, with that, it's just, it's just about giving up, mm -hmm. you know, and just trusting God to do what you cannot do, mm -hmm. you know, and giving Him that ability to just. Just trust him. Mm. Just yes. do it. I mean, and you bless other people too. Mm -hmm. You can be a blessing to somebody else. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Because I think about some of the stuff that I've spent. Because since we've been on um, in this uh, pandemic, yeah, don't talk about Amazon it. is my. Uh, and what is it about? So I haven't purchased anything from that's Amazon. Good. That's, that's good. another thing that that's I've good. given up. I refuse that's good. to purchase anything that's from Amazon good. during that. Oh, bless Just you. Just to see yeah. what I can do. Yeah. Uh, you know, because it was getting ridiculous yes. for a while. And I think I was getting addicted to seeing packages mm -hmm. at something. the door or something coming. Yeah. And you just have to be careful with that because uh -huh. addiction. It'll get away uh, from yeah, you. Yeah, it'll quick. get away from you quick. And <laughs> my bank account. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. What am I giving Amazon? Jesus, that's another <laughs> job. Check your checkbook. Wow. You can yeah. tell that's the yes. treasures. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I love a good acrostic. So, fasting, F. Forgiveness, mm -hmm. A, acceptance, S, self-control, mm -hmm. T, truth, mm -hmm. I, integrity, N, nourishment, there's that word again, mm -hmm. and then G, the most important, grace. Grace. Uh, so forgiveness, acceptance, self-control, truth, integrity, mm -hmm. nourishment, and grace. Um, that S really <laughs> resonates with me. Yeah. The self-control. Self -control. The self-control because people like me who were always used to being in control, it doesn't translate nope, to self-control. Because I feel like I'm big and bad enough to do what I want to do when I do it. Mm -hmm. No, you've got to maintain you. You need to, to rein you in. You Absolutely. need to control yourself. That is, anybody can control others, especially like children or yeah. others that you've been yeah. hired to control. Yeah. But can you control yourself? Absolutely. And that is what I think Good point. the biggest Good lesson point. for me with fasting. Yes. Great control point. yourself. You think you're yes. so big and bad control and can yourself. control this and that yes. and control God. You think you control his his way and what he's going to do. But can you not eat at 10 o'clock at night? Yeah, okay. there you go. And, it, and that, it, that is so true. Because, I mean, one thing wow. we can't do sometimes is self-control. Mm -hmm. it's it, it's it's, sometimes it's one of the hardest things mm -hmm. to do. Like you said, you pay to give other people advice, yeah. to do other things, but when it comes to you, you just you can't. Just, I do what I want to do. No. <laughs> That's me, so y'all pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> we have enjoyed you all so much of this show. Lisa, you got any last thoughts? No, I'm, a, I'm still resonating on that over there. <laughs> <laughs> Self control. Yeah. Yeah, that's real. Mm -hmm. So we appreciate you joining us today. We have enjoyed. Um, this conversation oh, like yes. I do every week. Mm -hmm. I love you ladies. I appreciate you all you. so much. And I appreciate this opportunity and this platform mm -hmm. that our pastor has created for yes. us to mm -hmm. be able to have conversations, just have practical talks mm -hmm. about biblical principles simply uh, that we can exercise every day. Mm -hmm. Because all it is is practice. We're yeah. practicing yeah. Mm -hmm. until we get to to heaven mm -hmm. until we see Jesus and right. until he can say well done our good and faithful mm -hmm. servant my good and faithful servant mm -hmm. well done and that's what we all want to hear that's what it's all about and then being Christian is just we have hope mm -hmm. that it's going to get better oh, we have yeah. hope through this pandemic we have Thank hope you, through this change of office we have hope through inequalities mm -hmm. and injustices mm -hmm. and you know all the insurrection everything wow. that has gone on thus far we have hope that it's going to get better mm -hmm. we have hope in Christ that this day will come that we will be okay and we will reign mm -hmm. with Christ forevermore. Yes. So we thank you for joining thank us today. We have enjoyed this conversation Always. and remember to do some spring cleaning. Mm -hmm. Don't just clean your house, but clean the house God gave you. Oh, yes. Because that's the one that's important. Mm -hmm. That's the one that's going to be with you from yeah. now on. So <laughs> clean your house. Yeah. Uh, thank you for joining us. We're going to have a word of prayer. Mm -hmm. God, thank you for this day. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being God and thank you for being good. Thank you for just revealing to us through conversation mm -hmm. with these beautiful ladies mm -hmm. every week god we just thank you for this platform thank, we thank you, you for this and we ask that god somebody be blessed by mm -hmm. something that was said on today god teach us self-control mm -hmm. teach us how to spend time with you mm -hmm. and know that you are the only way that we're going to be a portion yes. of what you even wanted us to be mm -hmm. and we have to surrender to you so yes. bless us to surrender anything yes, yes, yes. and give anything over to you that is above you that mm -hmm. we hold above you that mm -hmm. 
is controlling our time, yes, our God. thoughts, yes, and our God. talents. Yes, oh God, God, let us give that to you right now tonight. Forgive us of our shortcomings mm -hmm. and those things that we haven't done that is not pleasing mm -hmm. to you. God, we thank you and we thank praise you, you on today. We lift you up and we magnify and bless your holy name. In Jesus' name, we pray this all these things this day. Amen. Amen. We thank you for joining us for Let's Wrap. We've had a good show. Yes. And remember to do your spring cleaning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.